let's just say we've got 65 million people in the UK. How many noughts have we got? That's 65 million, right? OK, uh, 200,000... Divided by 100. Basically, uh, it's a very small... <laughs> it's a very small... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, it's, 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 it's a fraction. It's, it's, it's less than 1%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yet, why is this... Why has this become such an issue? I think, as I've been with work politics, right, it's never actually what they say. It's, it's unbelievable. About, it's like they, say it's about, they say it's about anti-racism, but really it's about pushing a racialist agenda that wants to divide people up. They say it's about being not transphobic, when really it's just about trying to impose a very bizarre ideology, which I'm sure even many trans people think gets a bit over the top in many respects, on the whole of the population. It's about thought control on some level. It's about compelling you to think in this particular way. And yet it's not in response to any clear demand even from trans people themselves, who, as you say, are a very small minority. And the vast majority, I'm sure, just want to get a, go about their lives without being yeah, turned but, into a kind of political battering ram. But this is, is the thing, so, Tom, so, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, mate, just a bit pressed time, but... Yeah, if if you were to go outside now, the amount of, or just upstairs, actually, the, there's an event on, it's been on for a month, no one's turned up to it, but um, you, know, you, would, you would be forgiven for assuming that 15, 20% of the UK population was uh, LGBTQ plus or, or, or whatever. You'd be forgiven for thinking that, that, that actually, you know, you know, there was some massive oppression going on as well. Well, there can't be massive oppression. I'm sorry, there can't be massive oppression going on if everywhere you look, there's a rainbow flag. We all have to be tolerant for it. And because less than 1% of this country decide that they want to change their pronouns, an entire company is making everyone put pronouns on their badges. Where's the struggle here, Tom? I think that's exactly it. We are an incredibly tolerant country. People of all kinds of different persuasions and beliefs and identities and all that kind of stuff. The issue is, is where you're trying to essentially take apart how the vast majority of people speak, how they interact with one another, and you're trying to throw that out the window at the behest of not just a small minority of people, but an even smaller minority of activists. And that's where we're at. The problem is, is that anything which claims to be woke than now at this point is presumed to be have the moral high ground. But I think it's obviously not the case. It's very authoritarian. It's very divisive. And at the end of it is about demonising ordinary people for holding the views that the vast majority of ordinary people continue to hold and have for a very long time. And that's why I think even in these small instances, we really need to push back against it.